Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the top of the line bunkhouse class C that you can get for the year 2023. This is the 2023 Winnebago Spirit model 31H. We are gonna be taking a look at all the outside features first, then all the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Winnebago Spirit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Winnebago Spirit 31H. Now this is the sister product to the Winnebago Mini Winnie 31H. Lots of features about this one, Andrea. I'm liking what they're doing for 2023. Now, here's what I will say. Nope, before we say hi to Andrea. For 2022, it looked very similar and I wasn't a fan of it because all of Winnebago's lineup looked the exact same. For 2023, they kept this the same, but they switched all their other units. So now there is different brand identities and that's all I want. I'm fine with the way it looked. I just didn't like how this one looked like that one looked like that one. You couldn't tell the difference. Now you can. It looks great. Andrea, say hi to America. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Yes, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, and we're excited to be back. Yes. And yeah, Matt, I want to see what's different because I haven't seen the C's yet. We've seen the A's. Yep. So let's see if there's a difference. Well, Andrea, again, there isn't a difference. There isn't much of a difference, but there is some, some things that I've learned, so I'm very excited to share my knowledge with you. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Winnebago Spirit 31H. The actual tip tip length is 32 feet 9 inches. This is the Winnebago Spirit. This is, again, sister product to the Mini Winnie. Very nice bunk over the cab right there. That's a nice fiberglass front bra. Now, Andrea, this sits on what's called a premium E450 chassis, which means it has a nice digital screen on the inside and um, I believe they said adaptive cruise control. I'm not going to quote that, so don't quote that in the video. But when we sit in the chassis, you're going to see how this chassis has the uh, premium connectivity and everything. So it's a lot better than traditional E450 chassis. Regardless on if it's premium or not, it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. Very nice. Coming on down here, look at these tires. Andrea, they're the Hancock. Dynapro. I love those. LT225-75 R16 with shiny rims right there. You want to know what else is shiny? Oh, wow. Look at that mirror. It's nice chrome mirrors, big size mirrors with cameras integrated in the side right here. Coming on down here, also a high end feature. Look at this very nice armless awning with wind sensor, Andrea. So if the wind blows too hard, the awning's going to automatically retract itself back in. Winnebago Spirit, this is the non body paint. You do have the option to get the full body paint, Andrea. Right over here. We do have a little bit of storage, definitely not much. I do not like how it's twisty doors. Coming on down. Now there's no sticker here, Andrea, but because this is Winnebago, Winnebago actually uses Asdell. Asdell is a grain-based material and it will never delaminate on you. Right here we do got power and coax if you do want to have a TV on the outside. And then right here we have a little bit more storage there. Not a lot. Not a lot of storage, Andre, because the slide out is on this side because of the bunk beds and everything. But there is a little bit more storage here. Very nice. And some storage here. Very nice. All right, coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a nice bumper for the stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch, 7,500 pound hitch, Andrea. Doesn't mean you can tow 7,500 pounds. Always know before you tow, you're good for at least 5,000 pounds. Right up there is a backup camera and there is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof right there. We got cutouts for Max Air fans. No solar on the roof. Right there's your King Air Dijo antenna. And there is one air conditioning unit on the roof. All right, two steps, Matt. Last step. Oh, free, and if you haven't already, make sure everybody smashes that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody, no ma'am. 
And again, y'all, make sure you check out our new YouTube channel, Matt's RV Reviews Used Edition, where it's just me and you, and we show stuff that's used. Okay, this is better. Right. This is a lot better. It's the storage we were looking for, for sure. Okay. Very nice. Right over there. That's where we're dumping our tanks. City water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Right here's where our fuel fill up is. Okay, here we have a uh, 10 gallon DSI water heater. Right here's our propane tank. And Miss Jen, bing, please put the specs right there so everybody can see who is watching on television. And then here is your 30 amp power cord. Right there's your Onan 4000 generator. And then right there, Andrea, this is, you can just see your auto leveling controls. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Spirit looks great, but the inside with the quality and features is even better. Let's go take a look. Okay, don't forget the cargo. Yes, ma'am. Check oh, it out. It's probably on the passenger door. Okay, oh, this is different. All right, I'm gonna walk all the way up here. Then I'm going to turn. Okay, so you know, the walkway's good. You know, there's, it's pretty easy to get through. It opens up a lot more here. Then we walk through, we have a step up. There are the bunks. And then here is the bathroom. And the master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. Matt, you having a hard time? I can't seem to find it, but while we get the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, brake areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. All right, Andrea, look at this. I love the inside with what they got going on with this U-Dinette. But first, we're starting up front here in the cockpit area. Now, Andrea, check this out. This is what I was telling people. You have the very nice digital screen. Keep the screen so you can have your fuel screen on. Trip and everything, fuel history. Very nice. Um, cruise control on. Right here we can adjust our mirrors. Very nice. Headlight design and everything. Check this out, we have the very nice screen. Sony screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Very nice. How do you feel right there? Um, it's a little bit more firm, but you know, it is what it is. Um, plenty of leg space for me. Now there is the dinette here, but I think this goes back. Yeah, try to recline it back some, see how far back you can go. While she's doing that, we got our cup holders right here. Very good. Not yet. I'm still playing with this pad here. Got to move this out of the way. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. That would help. No, I still can't get it to go okay, back. Okay, so that's about as far back as you can go then. Really? I mean, can you get it back further? No, but that's a- I guess that's how it, as far I, back I, I think you can it go. goes back. I think it's just me. I don't think it does. I'm looking right there, Andre. But that's about as far back as it goes. Why would they have that there though? Well, because you get the nice U-shaped dinette and it's definitely pros and cons. There's there's only so much you can do with the Class C, you know what I'm saying? Right, okay. And then above, we have an awesome bunk over the cab. Good bunk over the cab. Let's see, we do have a window right there. There's a privacy curtain. And I don't see the weight, but I believe it holds 500 pounds. Yeah, 500 pounds for sure. And then this does fill in right here. Has a ladder that goes there. Yes, Good and size. CD shades as well. 
and then right there is the TV. And that TV is in a decent area for the sofa right here. Now, Andre, this sofa is very blah. You know what I'm saying? It's a jackknife sofa. It just lays flat. You know what I'm saying? Um, no armrest, very travel trailer-esque when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? I do like the window here. And then this is something that I really do like. The MCD privacy blinds right here. And then Andre, come here. Let me see. Check these balances. I'm sorry. I'm going to deny them. Denied. Womp, 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 womp. Why is that? I know it seems weird. I usually like solid colors. I just feel like it's not doing very much for it in here. I feel like it's not complimenting the wood. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of wood, let's check out this awesome storage above. Now, here's what I will say, Andrea. Quality, yes. you can tell. This is rock. This is this firm. This is second to none. Like, it's, it's really good quality. Yes. I'm not really fond of the color, but, right. you know. And then uh, over here, Andre, we have more cabinetry above. Can you show that? Very nice. Also, Andre, notice that. A Sony DVD player, huh? I didn't know they had those anymore. Right, what the heck is that? <laughs> but here's what they do have, and here's what I do like, Andrea. I absolutely love this awesome, huge U-shaped dinette. What say you? Yes. It's, it's very convenient when you have family or just guests coming over. Yes. And it does drop down to make a bed. It sure does. It's so nice. You got the nice pedestal table. This swivels around to come part of the... Not come part of the living area. I'm so used to saying that. But it swivels around so it makes it easier to get in and out. It also does drop down to make a bed and it's very comfortable. And Andre, I, I, I love this. You know what I'm saying? This is what makes this floor plan unique, special, and different. Andre, would you like to show us the kitchen? Sure. Show us. All right, I'm going to start over here. Okay. We have a cabinet with a shelf. Yes, ma'am. Let's see. I don't know if it's solid surface, but it's something like it. For sure. No, that's definitely solid surface. Okay. Beautiful got countertop. Double sink, got an extension there. Underneath here, we have good storage. All right. We've got one drawer. Okay. We've got a microwave here. Very nice. A three burner propane suburban cooktop. Elite series. With the oven. Very nice. And then another drawer down here. All right. Okay, over here we have the two way refrigerator that runs off your uh, propane and shore power. Yes, very nice size. And it's already cold too. Of course. And then underneath here we've got a drawer. Yes. And then on this side we have, um, let's see. Three, three more drawers. Three drawers. One, two, and three. Look at that one. Wow. All right. And then um, something else to notice, Andrea, right over here is the auto leveling. Here's all our controls. And there is a little bit of storage there. And then check this out. A place for you to hang up your coat with the Winnebago logo. And then, Andrea, what do you got going on over there? Over here, I guess we have some more storage. You nice. can use it as a pantry or whatever you need. Very good. Yeah, I guess it could be two-way. Since the bunks are over there, you could use it for pantry or it is used for bunk space. But Andrea, oh, don't show that yet. Because do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. We will show that drawer in just a moment. You ready for this, Andrea? MSRP on this motorhome here. Stock number 279620 is $166,345, Andrea. MSRP. Winnebago only allows to, us to discount it 25% off because it is a current model year. So guess what? We have it discounted off. I have no idea. 25%. If that's the max, we're going to do the absolute maximum discount to a sale price of $124,995, Andrea. That is a fantastic price, but Andre, I know we can do a little bit better. If you guys are interested in this Winnebago or any Winnebago, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Contact form down below in the description. You can also get there from our website, mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Andre, it doesn't matter how you reach out to us. Fill out the Matt Cash form and we are going to get everybody the absolute best price in America on any Winnebago or Thor or Integra or anything. And I just hit my funny bone and that, that sucker hurt bad, didn't it? Yes, ma'am.
Are you okay? I am. I am. The funny bone is just like it's so painful for some reason. It's hilarious. Okay, Andrea, let's show everybody the rest of this unit. Bunk bed space. Flip up bunk bed space. I love that. How do you like it? I think that's awesome. I love when they do this. I think it's fan freaking tastic. Cause look at that bar up there, Andrea. So when you're not using this for bunk bed space, you can use this for hanging wardrobe. I love that. And then if you do need it for bunk bed space, Over there. all you do, bada bing. Bada boom. Just like that, you have bunk beds right over here. Privacy curtains on each bunk. Very, very nice. And then Andrea, gotta show people the drawer. Wow. Look at that. Look at, wow. Wow, look at that. That is a ton of drawer space, huh? They should have had a little separator in it though. Well, the more the merrier. <laughs> okay, and then over here, Andrea, is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Check this out, a very big shower. I love it. Good size. Not this a is, bad step up either. This is not a bad size shower. It's very, very nice. Good headspace in here. Not a store. Yes, ma'am. Over here we have a cabinet. Wow. Shelf. Yes. Cute rectangle sink. Okay. Storage under here. Yes. And then a drawer here. Very nice. Nice little mirror. And Andrea, we did forget our liquefied womp womp, but it is okay. You look crowded over there on that I side. I look distraught. Andrea, now I remember why I was so mad last time. This is not a prime poop edition, and this is a plastic toilet. Womp, 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 womp. Shout out to our friends at Lippert, Andrea, because Lippert just came out with a porcelain toilet that you can put in this motorhome. <laughs> I can't believe it's a plastic toilet. I forgot about that, Andrea. And now it like re, re, re-energized me, you know? All right, look at that. There's an accordion door here. Yes, ma'am. On the uh, master bedroom. Yes, and then storage all around here. Got a queen size bed there. Yes, ma'am, nice space. window. Look at all this storage. Good storage above. Fan freaking tastic over here you got more hanging space side tables there power and everything nightstand with three drawers yes ma'am and a lot of times these are soft clothes but i don't think they are and then andre there's only two drawers on this side just so everybody knows and then across you do have a tv in the bedroom love that good storage in there yes ma'am very nice big wardrobe more space wardrobe. here Check that out. We got five drawers. Yes. Okay, very, very nice. nice. And then let's see if there's storage under the bed. Oh. There is not. What is that little thing? That's just a hole oh. for you to access your leveling and everything. But no storage under the bed. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this motorhome. Three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? I'm gonna say, let's do three things we like about it first. I love it. Follow me. No, stop right there. Stop in the name <laughs> of reviews. I love the flip up bunk right here. Andrea, it flips up and makes wardrobe. It flips up to make bunks, flips down to make bunks. I love it. Make it multi-purpose. Every time we're in a bunkhouse motorhome, this is what I want to see from here on out. And I love it. That is number one. Dre, what's number two? I'm going to say this. A lot of times with bunk models, you don't get pantries. Yeah. I believe this is a pantry. Uh-oh. And I like it. It is. Yeah, I like, I, even if it's little, I'm glad there is separate space for it because there's not a lot of storage in there for food. So. Correct. And I'll try it. That's not a pantry. I'm, I'm calling it now. But here's what, just like the bunkhead. Bunk head, bunk bed. If you want this to be pantry, it's pantry. If you want it to be wardrobe space, it's wardrobe space. If you want to put your liquefied in there, you can put your liquefied in there. The fact that you can do it for whatever you want and, um, nope, not adjustable, but still, the more storage, the absolute better, and I love that. That is number two, and then Andrea, number three for me has to be this awesome U-shaped dinette. Freaking love it, you don't get this, I love this, you know what I'm saying? Big enough for the whole family to sit around. One of the best dinettes in the RV space, especially in the Class C RV space. Well, Andre, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And Andre, the first one's outside. 
Andrea, this like number one, this is a high-end motorhome. This competes with your Steams and your Quantums and everything. I don't like how it's the twisty doors. I much prefer slam latch doors. That is dislike number one. That is number one, Andrea. Number two, dislike. Number two for me is uh, the fact that when I was sitting in the passenger side, I couldn't recline the seat back. Mm. So. Yeah, yes. it was very tight right here. Yes. And again, I like appreciate their attempt to make it so it re could recline, but it really wasn't reclining much at all, it, was it? It wasn't, it wasn't budging. Right. So. <laughs> and you know, half the time it's all like, is that user error? And we'll, we'll, we'll take, we'll take the L for loser error, but not, not this time. There's no user error there. That's number two. Then Andrea, I got a number three and a number four. Yeah. Number three, Andrea, I hate this sofa. This is the it's, epitome of cheap. It, yeah, and it truly looks like it too. Looks cheap, yeah. like, I say that respectfully, like look at this awesome U-shaped dinette. Right. Looks like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, hey, no arms. I, I really hate that. Um, that's, that's number three. And then Andre, number four is the fact that it's um, single AC unit, 30 amp. So many other manufacturers are giving you those two AC units now. Even if they're the smaller AC units. Correct. Right. Two, two's always better than one, especially on a big Class C like this. But again, Andrea, overall, a fantastic Class C, fantastic price. And you know what? I am going to give you one more like. I love the cabinetry structure. When you are in this motorhome, Andrea, this feels like a rock hard beast. And truthfully, it's one of those things, aesthetically, it's not a appeasing am i saying the word right yes but you can tell that this is great quality and this is not going to fall on your head while you're driving down the road it is built the winnebago way well andrea that's it that's the review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are interested in this winnebago or any winnebago please go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash we've linked it down below it's on our website mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969 4033. Any way you got to get in contact with us, please do. We are going, we have a team here at General RV. We sell these nationwide and we are going to get you guys the best price in America. Andrea, what do you want to say? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Winnebago does read the comments. They do watch the video, so please leave your feedback. Yes. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.